this seemed to escalate quite quickly. Give me your thoughts on this. It's stunning. Uh, Dana, you know, when we talked yesterday, 24 hours later, less than that, now Kim Davis is in jail. She's uh, got the uh, prison uniform on. She's been fingerprinted and booked, and now she's behind bars as a criminal. For what? For what? What did she do? She's just wanting to have her conscience respected. And what is her simple request? Is it so magnanimous and, and so unbelievably overwhelming that you can't accommodate her? No. Just remove my name from the license. That's it. Because right. she doesn't want to affix her name to a license that actually licenses something under her name and authority. That will be in the history books of Kentucky forever. That right. conflicts with her religious conviction. Just take her name off the license. That's all she says. I'll file it. I'll record it just like anything else. But no. The governor doesn't want to do that. The governor accommodated his attorney general a year ago when he wanted mm -hmm. to opt out of defending the marriage laws, but he won't accommodate Kim Davis. The Clerks Association said, let's do this for all the clerks. No. What the judge did, instead of ordering the change of the license to remove her name, he incarcerates her behind bars. And he says she's going to stay there for at least a week. He's going to bring her back out and ask her another question. Well, you know what? He can bring her out and tell the callous come home. And I can tell you what, knowing Kim Davis, she will not violate her conscience. She is behind bars, but her conscience still remains free. Wow. And she's going to stay there. She's going to fight this. Correct? Yeah, she's going to stay there. Wow. Until the, she changes her mind, uh, but she's Which not going to change yeah. her mind. Which isn't She's likely. Just not going to change it. Well, you know, and that, you know, that to me, you know, Matt, what you had said that, you know, the, the, that accommodation had been given before. You and I yesterday talked about how there's like over 130 clerks in Kentucky. Yeah. I had a bunch of uh, listeners from my radio program, uh, I have affiliates in the area, who were saying, you know what, there's like a clerk that's like 20, like made less than 30 minutes away yeah. uh, it, east of her office. I mean, all of the stuff that I've been hearing from people. This is this this has nothing to do with doing your job because there is a difference between an elected official and a government employee. This has nothing to do with really doing your job. I mean, people this this is them wanting to set people wanting to set a narrative using her name. They want her as a victory. Yeah, they want they want uh, Kim Davis's scalp and they want to attack it to the wall. That's what they want. They don't want the license because 30 minutes drive either way, no big deal. Weeks ago, this could have been resolved for the people that want the license. They could have gotten one someplace right. else. They want Kim Davis's scalp on the wall. They want to be able to frame that as a trophy that they've shredded somebody's conscience. You know, just last night, uh, the president of the Senate filed a brief and his general counsel was there to argue as well. And he said to the judge, just delay this hearing because the General Assembly needs to act. What's happened two months ago is that five lawyers on the Supreme Court shredded the laws of Kentucky, just literally shredded them. So it's not just who can get married. It's what's the definition of a spouse now? All of that has to be addressed by the General Assembly. But instead of waiting, instead of having some reasonable accommodation, no, you throw her in jail. You know, this doesn't end the issue. This exacerbates the issue. This was a problem caused by five lawyers on the Supreme Court that literally abandoned the Constitution. They abandoned the court's precedent. They overrode all the sovereignty of the individual states. And the question is, are we just going to allow five lawyers to just come up with anything they want to do mm. and then just assume that that's the rule of law? Well, you know, they did that with Dred Scott. and We fought a civil war over that issue. That's right. They did it, they did it with Buck versus Bell when Carrie Buck was forcibly sterilized as part of the eugenics movement. And she went to the Supreme Court thinking she would get justice from that high court. And instead, she got Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes, who said, sorry, no justice for you, Carrie, because three generations of imbeciles are enough. Your IQ and your generation it's just not high enough. We're going to sterilize you. Well, you know what happened? Adolf Hitler found out about that, and that became the basis of his eugenics movement. And mm -hmm. in the Nuremberg trials, when the Nazis were put on trial, they cited the Supreme Court's decision, Buck versus Bell. You Americans did this, so why do you have a beef with us Nazis? So the Supreme Court's been horribly wrong through its history, and I think it's horribly wrong in this situation. They just invented it out of thin air, and the question is, are we going to just allow five people to just rule the country and we're going to allow people's religious conscience rights to literally be shredded and put in jail for mm -hmm. a simple request to have their conscience accommodated?